these are the hubcaps that we were working on the other day when we were power washing the car or the truck. Um, as you can see, the one on the left, I used a rust dissolver on it. I was hoping that it wouldn't take off a majority of the paint, but I think it did a really, really good job. I'm very pleased with this. Um, couldn't have asked for any better, really. So I like it like that. I may end up just putting a clear coat over it and leaving it. So I'm hoping, I'm getting ready to start the second one. I'm hoping that um, that one will have the same results. The, um, the one on the left, the one that I just finished um, getting the rust off, that one wasn't as bad as this one. So I'm hoping <laughs> for the best actually, but we'll see. So I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can kind of repaint how they were, but um, I have high hopes, so hopefully let's give it a shot. So this is the battery compartment cover that is on the floorboards and on the passenger side of the of the truck on the inside. This is the underneath part. This is the top and it has like this locking mechanism where it turns and all of these will turn and then lock the cover on in place. Um, so we located a battery today, so Greg's going to be bringing that home. And we're at this weekend we're going to try to see what works and what doesn't work so in the meantime i want to go ahead and try to use the same rust product um, on this to kind of clean this up and get some of this um crud off so hopefully the locking uh, mechanisms will still work and they're not too broken a lot of this feels like dirt so we may just try to scrub it um with water first and so maybe a little bit of like dawn dish so dish soap to get this off but I think a lot of this is just dirt. So again, we're hoping for the best. So here is the battery cover that I had taken off before that was all covered in mud and dirt and stuff. So I cleaned up really, really nice. Um, the front side of it though, not so much, but that's okay. I mean, the the appearance is okay. I still kind of want it to look a little, a little uh, worn. It turns really, really easily, so that's good. In the back, everything is working, so that's always good. Positive note. Everything is cleaning up really nice on the truck. It's just, um, just really, really dirty, but once you get past all the dirt and the grime, everything looks amazing. Here is the cab seat that we just took out of the truck. Um, we're going to definitely have to reupholster it. We are kind of researching different ways to uh, reupholster this. Either um, use some sort of like saddle blanket or if we're going to use vinyl. We're not exactly sure yet. Um, but the, the backs of them aren't bad. And the only thing that we're kind of running into um, is that this is a, a, a dual back. You can see there's like two sections because they, um, they obviously fold forward because the gas tank is usually located right behind the seats. Um, but this, as we were saying, most of the reupholstered or the redone seats are a solid back. So we don't know if we're going to make this a solid back or if we're going to leave it two separate ones. So that's our plan. Um, a lot of this is just going to, the bottom obviously is so filthy and dirty and, and beat up. But the springs, um, the springs look okay. So I'm just going to try to clean it all up and then we'll paint it and go from there. Obviously something was living in this truck for quite a long time and there's a lot of nastiness. <laughs> Yuck. 